It's the start of a new era. Welcome to the abandoned cabin. This summer, we plan on transforming this abandoned cabin and this land into a beautiful off-grid oasis. Starting with the most exciting one, with the warm weather just around the corner, we're gonna wanna be going swimming in between projects for the rest of the year. So why not start with a dock? It's moving day, packing it up and moving away. I know a lot of our adventures this year have caught a lot of you off guard, but I bet you have a pretty good guess as to where we're going right now. Bye, see you there! I was wondering where the back of that trailer went. We definitely lost it on the road. Hopefully Crystal sees it and picks it up because I need to head to our mailbox and fingers crossed everyone, the package has arrived. They're here! Thanks for crossing your fingers everyone! I wonder if Crystal's got down the driveway yet with the trailer. Haven't drove a trailer since last summer. It's a serious skill. Yeah! I kidding, Crystal is a professional trailer driver now. We got these sweet 55 gallon plastic drums on Marketplace. We've got 20 in total. These barrels are $40 a pop and at the hardware store, they are a couple hundred dollars, like two to $500. It's wildly different. So deals on deals. All you have to do is a little extra work. We're taking off the caps, making sure they have gaskets, making sure that they are sealing well. And we're actually adding a little bead of caulking to every single one just in case. What do you smell? What's down there? What's there, Bill? What's there? Supervisor found something she doesn't approve of. What is that beer? This probably looks like a lot of hardware and stuff to everyone, but to be honest, it has been quite the order, let me tell you that much, getting everything out here. I don't see that on your order at all. Like, those say? are like caps of wood, the carriage bolts. We need the corner brackets in order to, obviously, put them all together with carriage bolts so they're extra strong. And, of course, we ordered 32. Have your knife. We got eight. I feel bad because we're a far drive out from where we ordered all this and the driver has already come back twice now due to them not uh, packing the order to 100%. But it looks like the driver's coming out for a third time now, eh? We're just gonna make it work with what we have and how much sunlight we have. Beer! That's so cute. Alright, first barrel's going in. Beauty. It's not in forever though. So now we need the joists going that way. We are currently boxing these barrels in. So they're braced all the way around so that way when they do go in the water, they're stuck in their little cubicle and they can't knock it out, keeping the dock afloat. Good. And it's also like bracing, so make it a bunch of rectangles. One side is complete. And we have a lot more of these to build. I cannot wait to show you all the finished product. It is going to be incredible and so relaxing and so big and so fun all at the same time. So we're on to the second side. We're gonna cut the long piece, which is the joist, and then we're gonna box in the barrels once again. We're good! Dock build day two, everyone! Hi, Bella! Thanks for the ride! Oh yeah, everyone. Now this is the weather I was picturing to build a dock in. This is our first float design, done and dusted. Kind of. There's no decking boards, girl. Yeah, but that's all later. 
but we're gonna do this again and again and again <laughs> cool also if you're wondering why we're using such big carriage bolts I'll let Crystal tell you that one. <laughs> I did my very first order and I ordered massive carriage bolts. So we did end up getting a couple small ones, but we're kind of just using what we have. I don't know if anyone knows this, but there is a carriage bolt shortage in Nova Scotia. So we can't return these and get different sizes. We just, as you can see, start our board this, to hold the thing in. Just right at the bolt, that way the bolts don't puncture our floats. Dock building is a lot like duck building and I think both Jasmine and I can agree that we could do this every day, forever, because it is so fun and I think it's so great to be outside at this time of year. It's hilarious as Canadians. We're like shedding layers as the minutes go on, but just going from the sub-zero temps to a beautiful 10, 12 degree day, 11 degree day, <laughs> feels like summer. It's such an amazing feeling. <laughs> How satisfying is that? This one's coming together so quick. I just Whoa. replicated that in a blink of an eye. Yeah, I mean, it always goes faster once you know what you're doing, right? Yeah, girl. This is getting me so excited to start everything down here. I cannot wait to bask on this after a work day. Can y'all believe it? We're on dock number three. So these three docks are five by 10 and you get 10 feet boards thinking, you know, you'll just like cut in half and less cuts, less time wasted, but nothing is true to size, obviously, and you want it to be square for your decking boards. So I'm gonna measure each and every board to make sure we are hitting five and 10 feet exactly. Best feeling when they're all perfect. If you haven't already guessed, these three docks are going to be what bring us all the way out. We wanted them to be wide enough that we could walk out, not feel like someone's gonna go in, even though Someone's probably gonna push someone in one day, let's be real. Part of the reason we need 30 feet to get out there is because this lake is a shallow lake. A lot of Nova Scotia lakes aren't the deepest, so you gotta get out there in order to have a good swimming spot. I'm gonna eat it like an alligator. Wow, well, hello. Hi, sweet girl. Are you snoozing in the shade? No one loves to be out here more than Belle and Izzy. Taking a nap in the sun and then in the shade and just enjoying the breeze. We are keeping lunch warm in the windshield today. This contractor's got a lunch box and it's break time. And you bet it's filled with AG1. It's that easy. I've been saying it for many years, but getting your vitamins and your nutrients in one single serving. We're talking less than a cup of water here. See that? That's the 250 ml line and just one simple scoop and we throw it in our box and we bring it to work and we know that our body is getting fundamental nutrients it needs to be able to function at its best. <laughs> Stock ain't gonna build itself and AG1 sure does keep us on track. One single serving of AG1 every time we make the decision to drink it, 75 vitamins, nutrients, and minerals. Antioxidants, prebiotics, probiotics, adaptogens, amazing things that benefit your body. I'm convinced there's no easier, more convenient, better tasting way to get your vitamins. It makes me feel like I can do anything. It keeps us so energized. And if you have a busy schedule, long days on the road, lots of traveling, AG1 is going to fit into your adventure seamlessly. We've been loving it for so many years and if you'd like to give it a try, you can scan this really cool QR code with your phone or click on the link in the description. You're gonna receive five free travel packs for while you're on the move and a year supply of a vitamin D dropper. All that duck building has us hungry. Lunch! How is it? Finger looking good chicken sandwich. And for dessert, homemade cinnamon spread. Remember when we found the container in the <laughs> crawl space here? Oh my gosh. Do you remember caramel spray? Oh, or spread? Cinnamon spread. That's my, oh. <laughs> well, 
We're making our own, everyone. A few reasons to absolutely love this lot. You've got the sun all day long. It's got the best sun exposure. It is oh. such a great little lot. Check out these little ducks. Just swimming their way into the sunset. Now I cannot picture my life being without you. You're the center of my life. I got a bigger stick than you. Classic spring day. You go from tank tops and sunburns to winter hats and your sweater back on. Burr. But we are on our very last platform. Uno, dos, tres, number four. It's about to be built. Are you ready? Square up the frame. Attach the corner brackets using carriage bolts. Throw in the big barrels. We might have had a little bit too much fun doing this. <laughs> Add your joists and box them in. You got a dock. <laughs> it's 818, Jazzy. I know, I can't really see either. <laughs> Give the camera a high five. Can you hear that? That's Clementine. She's on the way. What a way to commute to work. Yeah, Clementine. That means we're going to be floating soon. Oh. Did you get extra? I did, because I do that. <laughs> Another beautiful sunny day to build this dock. You started yesterday the same way. I know. <laughs> well, we're just blessed with this beautiful weather. Sunshine and building, my two favorite things. We're attaching the very last bit of hardware onto these floats, measuring them out perfectly in hopes Cross your fingers that all of them are going to connect quite smoothly. I'm pumped that we're at this level. This level. That's a game. <laughs> Dock yeah, building yeah. game. These are the last two, and then we are sailing. Floating. I keep saying that though. Floating. Well, we could sail too if you want to put a sheet up. These are the multi nautic hinges. Super big connectors that are going to connect everything together. Spaghetti again. Spaghetti again. Spaghetti again. Eddie. This is a lot of spaghetti. My daily update. Good morning. It is not a beautiful spring day. In fact, it's a cold, windy day, but we're still working. Look at these dogs. <laughs> what are you doing, Bella? <laughs> She's so funny. While Clementine warms up, I better warm up too. You're a brave soul. <laughs> Thank you so much. I've always wanted these. Damn, girl. What's funny is these are probably up to, no, I guess they're supposed they're to. They're good, you can use a jawstring. I've never seen you look so cute in my life. Cute? Yeah, you look so cute! Look at her, everyone! Wow! I don't know about cute. I do. Looking like I'm working. <laughs> I'm a working woman. Go get them! Okay, Go get them! This is gonna be the hardest part of it all. And not because winter's back, but because the docks are heavy. We're basically just going to push the dock as much in the water as we possibly can, and Crystal is going to look cute in her hip waders while doing so. Capiche capoche, apple sauce. There are many ways to put in your dock, and I think it depends how many people you have or if you have any machines. Because it's just the two of us and Clementine, we have decided to do it this way. Slow and steady, we inch the dock in, put the floats in, and then the dock will be afloating in no time. This is when it all comes to life. This is the fun part. 
Look how sick this floaty raft is. Gonna start decking this bad boy in a minute. She's floating, beyond happy. You like it? I see a lot of nothing on this deck. Dock. I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah! You're in the dome. Amazing. Good girl. Are you gonna go dock diving? Yeah. See, I love jumping off docks, huh? You like it, Bella? Do you like it? There's something else coming for you, Bella. Oh my gosh, what, Mom? Oh, it's a secret, Bella. <laughs> Even though you should have looked over the plans, Bella. Yeah, Bella, if you were a real supervisor, you'd be looking over the plans. Yeah, you already know your surprise. Yeah, Bella, what? Are you <laughs> slacking? Caught you. Caught you, Bella. Wow, decking boards. Last piece and the sun's coming out. Last piece. Whoop, whoop, whoop. The sun's really coming out. Yeah, I know. I was being serious. I, I felt it. it. It's amazing. I'm so glad you came up with this idea, supervisor. I was just looking down, putting in the last few boards. Something about the water is so appetizing from the dock. It just looks like you want to get right in there. I can't wait. Do it. Jump <laughs> in. Jump Once in. Once I have my runway, then I'll go in. Okay. <laughs> this is the definition of getting her done. We're moving on to the platforms now, or the runway, as we all know it. The wind has taken flight, and we now have fog. I think Crystal's going to become a news lady after this. Welcome back to VNN, and now to Crystal with the weather. Fog! Okie dokie, where are we at? Looks great. Out of four docks, three of them were perfectly square. And you know why? I think I know why. Why? I moved this one with the tractor yesterday. Yep. We just need to cut a little piece of pizza to go on the end of that one. And then we'll be smooth sailing, putting this dock in the water and being like frogs on lily pads. Might do it, might not. Might just eat the sliced pizza myself because I'm getting hungry for lunch. Okay, what's next? Sunnier day or uh, sunnier day? Hey, 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 hey. We have a dog beer. We just wanna flow. Downstream all summer long, pull up, put the top down clean, but I'm running on fumes. I really have to get used to lifting these center blocks because we are going to be lifting a lot in our future. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know. And look at this little fisherman. How cute is she? I didn't think she could get any cuter after yesterday's outfit, and she just proved me wrong. <laughs> look at you. So cute, Boogie. You ready to get a dock in? Yeah, girl. Okay. We need to launch the dock on the other side because it's more of a hill and it's easier to get these barrels under. So, here goes nothing. We just wanna flow. We just wanna flow. Yeah, yeah. We just wanna flow. Tiptoe to the deep end, about to go on summer salt into the weekend. Whoa, 10, 10, 10 on a cannonball. Pull side like a picture from the catalog. Go with the breeze so we can let go. Chuck up a three, no need. All right, third dock is going in. Let's go. We beat the heat, no need to be cool. And it's lovely. Got me pouring Paul free in the bubbly. Chop it up with Bubsy, it don't even bug me. It's all good if you're great and love me. We just wanna flow. We just wanna flow. Yeah, yeah. We just wanna flow, 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 flow. Now, as you can see, our dock wants to go down the river. I don't blame it. It's quite a nice river. But we need to anchor it. So we wanna keep this beach area. And this right here is like the perfect little pathway just to walk right down like how beautiful is this on the moss to bella i'd be making a ramp there you want to make a ramp for sure okay so i need a rope now because i'm wasting my time doing this actually y'all know that saying if you don't know how to tie knots tie lots that's what we're doing tying down the dock before we anchor it look at that queen 
Yeah, girl, nice runway. Now come back. <laughs> That's our anchor. And now we need to get real strong and be able to throw our anchor out that way and then tie the anchors into the anchor brackets. Wish us luck. Bella's walking the runway now. Pretty smart. I know. I thought I was pretty smart actually for thinking about this. Yeah. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn or anything, but toot toot. Toot toot toot. Toot toot. <laughs> Wish y'all could see her face there. She really got into it. Toot toot! <laughs> this didn't fit. Tried to hammer it and got stuck. Not our smartest moments, but we redeemed ourselves with this idea. Crystal doesn't think that we're strong enough to lift these four cinder blocks that are our anchors. So she doesn't want to try to throw them with me. Fair enough. She does have a bad back and she heard it again in this video. So the idea is. I am going to put them as close to the corner as possible. <laughs> Those, look in Crystal's face. And just push them off. But we need to have the dock exactly where it is, where we want it at least. So that's the dock anchor. So hopefully when I throw these in, it won't snap the bracket off. Here we are redoing our work because I decided to put the anchor bolts on the front of the dock where your feet are going to be and it would not be nice to get one of those cinder blocks in the toes. Have to grind this later, my grinder broke. And that's some thick galvanized chain link. Congratulations! The sun is out and you have a dock. The sun is out? Kind of. Ah, girl, the sun ain't out. Who, where are you from? Nah, girl, that's... Nah, girl. The sun ain't it. Well, I got a dock. <laughs> Woohoo! Ready for you, son. Now that this dock is floating, we have a few more very important details to really make this dock come together. We didn't want to leave the dogs behind, so we decided to add stairs so Bella and Izzy can go swimming with ease. Built a ramp for easier access instead of jumping onto the dock. Look at the geese, Izzy. Well, that saves hours of time. And lastly, we decided to make the ultimate chill area by building a dock frame, attaching eyelets, weaving really strong rope in and out of the netting. Have you guessed yet? Yeah, you're gonna go on this bear? You're gonna try, I know you are. <laughs> you say heave, I say ho! Heave! <laughs> ho! That didn't go. Come on. Doesn't go. Give it a... Mm. Doesn't crash, you gotta keep doing it. Heave, ho, heave, ho! Bella likes it, Bella gets pumped up. Come on, Chris. Sports, come on. Sports. You say heave, I say ho. Heave. Ho. All right, everyone. Piece number six is going in and it is the final one. Oh. <laughs> it's almost as funny as when we brought that generator in. Now time to bring it in the water. Bombs away. A couple of feet and tighten all the legs just before sunset. Unreal. Oh my God, that's so cool. That's so fun. You trust it? Yeah. Okay, good. Yay! Good girl. Good. Amazing. <laughs> we said we wanted a dock before summer. Yeah! Yes, we get all summer to enjoy this dock.